You got to be so careful. Oh, Janelle, it feels like we're back, back to I March. I know, right? Like it's we like, went backwards. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It really is. And speaking of this weekend, I know a lot of things are going on, but we actually have a split weekend where tomorrow is going to be almost a continuation of today, but just not as hot, still just as humid. And then Sunday is certainly the day to get outside as we are looking at way better conditions. Feels like temperatures out the door right now are balmy. It's 86. That that is the feeling here in Philly. Feels like 40, 74 rather in Trenton. It feels like it's 81 Atlantic City to Wildwood. 81 is the current feeling in Dover. It feels like we're in the 70s, Reading over towards Lancaster, low 70s out in Allentown. And these feels like temperatures will be gripping onto the region here once again today. Century marks from Allentown down towards the shore over into Delaware. And yesterday, as I was watching the six o'clock news, a lot of people. People were actually not on the beach because there's no shade there. And so uh, they found little to no relief from this heat. And today it looks like it's going to be another stifling day, even down at the Jersey Shore. By tomorrow, while we're still tracking high heat, notice how it's not as hot. 95 will find, probably feel like a freezer. <laughs> Philadelphia, though, today, 97 will be the daytime high with late day storms on tap. 90 down the shore, 91 up in the Poconos with the afternoon thunderstorms possible. All neighborhoods will be experiencing heat index values between 105 and 108. You want to check on the elderly, children and pets and watch for heat related illnesses. Now, as I mentioned, tomorrow, Saturday is going to be a transitional day, but the big story about Saturday, the threat for strong storms, damaging wind gusts will be the number one concern. So please take that seriously. As we head towards Sunday, that cold front moves past behind it. The air is drier, is also less humid, but the big story, it will not be as hot. Okay, we could take that <laughs> decrease in temperatures, Larissa.